Hey there, guys. I'm going to deconstruct a trade that I took on October 30th, 2023 in CL. And it's a pretty cool trade. I actually did a short about it and kind of showed my positions and where I had entered and just did a really quick, you know, one minute quick video. This is going to be a longer video where I talk about my reasoning, why I was entering the trade and so forth. Now, this trade was really cool for a lot of reasons. So reason number one, and this is always a big factor for me, is because I followed my process. So I traded the way that I wanted to trade for today, and I followed my rules, and I was very disciplined. So really happy about that part of it. I'm also always happy when I get a really good outcome. We all are, right? We all want to see our the good outcomes come from the trades that we take. And finally, the really cool thing about this is that I had a to the tick entry, which doesn't happen very often, especially in CL that wicks likes to wick around and often goes past my levels. But in this case, I had to the tick entry. In fact, I wasn't even sure that I would get in because the bid ask spread. Um, but I did get in and I was really happy. So I want to deconstruct this trade for you and show you what it's all about. OK, the first thing that I want to talk about is context. So. I like to look at context, the narrative for the day to look at where my major and minor levels are. So you can see here, I have that mapped out. This is what I have at the beginning of the day. I didn't go back afterwards and put all this stuff in. This is what I had coming into the session. I was looking for certain areas. I have more lines on here than I um, than what you're seeing. Um, I wanted to take off a lot of the clutter so that you didn't get confused. But generally what I'm looking at is I'm looking at shorts kind of below here, longs above here, and probably a bit of chop as we're kind of right in between this area here. So that's that's generally my my bias or my frame of mind going into the day. OK, I progressed this a little bit further into the session and you can see that we've we've moved down. We've kind of come down where, you know, my hypos tell me to look for shorts and I wait for certain things to happen from a time perspective. And so one of the things that I'm waiting for is what happens after the first hour. And once I know what happens after the first hour, I begin to have an idea of when and where I want to be trading. And so these these bands here, these are my time bands. So these are the time windows that I want to be trading in when I think retracements are going to happen. OK, so for me, I have a whole bunch of data that goes back, you know, almost 20 years that tells me, generally speaking, when this thing happens, that this is the time period that we want to be trading in because that's the most likely time period where we'll have a retracement. Now, the other thing that's important for me are the price levels. OK, so we have time and now we're looking at price levels. So I want to see price come back within these windows to these different price levels. OK, and so these this, this is a tough day because there was a lot of different price levels that were happening in a very kind of close range. And so it's almost like on a day like this, price can almost go anywhere. And that makes it for a really difficult day for, for the system. It's not usually like that, okay? Um, in this case, my minimum price level, and, and I don't like it when this happens, and a lot of times I just wait and see when I see stuff like this with this big, huge, you know, this massive price band right here. I'd rather wait and see what happens. I could have possibly taken a trade right here when it comes into this price level. It never did, actually. So we actually came just a few ticks shy of that. So then what happens is we just kind of have this big breakdown. OK, and notice that we're getting out of like my main time zones. OK, so we didn't really come back to any of these upper areas in my main time zone. OK, and we keep going down. We come down. And what's interesting to me when I was watching this is we we didn't really tap this target zone, okay? Because the other thing that I have on my charts is I have targets. So these are the areas that I expected price to come to and either quit and kind of be done for the day or bounce from and then maybe keep going lower, okay? So generally, I have usually two target zones that I'm looking at. And this didn't actually hit that one, which I thought was really interesting. So then we keep going, we keep going, we keep going, and and boom, we come back up into this zone, okay? Now, I had a choice. 
I had a choice where I could trade right here. Okay, I could take this level right here or I can wait for this right here, okay? And what I did is I opted to wait and see because we're kind of really later in the day what would happen, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna hide this. Uh, I'm gonna actually move this really quick so you can see. It's kind of hard to see this one. But if I move this out of the way and I zoom in really close, okay? And my, my boxes are off a little bit, but this is actually my line, okay? So 83.13 was my line that I wanted price to come to. I front run these because a lot of times it'll tap it and then turn around. This is what I was talking about where I had to the tick entry. So my order was actually 83.12. And I didn't think this would get me in because it tapped 83.12 and then turned and just completely dropped after that. So I was, it was kind of fortunate, kind of a little bit lucky, you know, uh, that I was able to get in on this particular trade, had the exact right place and location and the right entry at the right time, which was awesome. Okay, so come back, bring this back here. This is what, what it's supposed to look like. And from here, it's just a matter of riding this thing out to my target zones. We had a little bit of heat up here at the 1235 bar. And then we come down here, we actually slam through my first level and notice we come down here into my second level and take that. Now, what does this look like in terms of risk reward? So if we bring up uh, you know, kind of our tool here, we've got an 83.12. My stop loss is right, hang on, one, two, two ticks above there. So we had a 12 tick stop loss. Okay, my first take profit was a 6.75 our trade and my second take profit was a 10 and a half our trade okay so um, I think I said 80 ticks but I was just really averaging uh, or I think I was really just giving the first one um, I did have multiple uh, take profits so I took 80 on the first one and then I took 120 on the second one probably a little bit less than this uh, front running this a bit so we can see that um, I love the system that I trade because sometimes it is so accurate to the tick. Look at what we did today uh, here and look at what we did right here on the target. This is stuff I set up at basically 1030 Eastern time in the morning. Like I don't, I don't move these. These, these is how my charts are set up. Um, and so this stuff is just awesome. I actually love this, uh, this approach. So you can see we kind of bounce right there. So that's my trade deconstruction of October 30th, 2023 in CL. It was an awesome trade. I love that I followed my process and I love that it had a great outcome. And I love that the system is showing me entries that are to the tick. Every once in a while you get lucky like that. And it's good to have that good luck on our side. All right, traders, until next time, happy trading.